Hey everyone, sorry I've been, I have not been uploading recently. Um, yeah, I don't think I have an excellent excuse other than laziness or trying to find the motivation. Anyway, I'm going to be reviewing the movie The Substitute. This was one of the few horror movies I've seen uh, when I was really little, like 10 or 9 years old. I think. It came out in 2007, so the movie, yeah, does not say much. Um, basically, a bunch of sixth graders have a new substitute teacher, and they believe they believe she's um an alien. Well, yeah, she is an alien, and I think she wants to eat them. This is a lot like that. Um, what was it? That anime. Um. The Promised Neverland, kids were eaten by aliens. I believe that was a story here. Um, she basically tries, she convinces all the adults that she's a normal teacher. And yeah, um, the movie's good. I have not seen it in like at least over 10 years. Oh, it came out in 2006, and the DVD didn't come out until 2007. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, Wait, what is it? I'm sorry. Is it grammar problems? We find that there's a reason she seems to be from another planet. What do you mean, we? Are the actresses right in the synopsis of the movie? Shouldn't say the kids find that find out there's a reason she seems to be from another planet, not we. Cause it kinda sounds like they're writing She's a nightmare come true. She manipulates all the parents and believes she's a great how great she is. That's obviously. Um I don't think there's like that many kills in the movie, other than the tons of ghost kids. Which I believe are the past victims of her. Well, are they the sixth graders? Probably the sixth graders. Yeah, um... So it was made by the same people that made 30 Days a Night and The Grudge. And it's supposed to be like a clever version of the faculty. The faculty is someone finds an alien and then invades everyone's minds and yeah, that's it. They're going around killing people. That's it. I get it. It's it's a school zombies, not zombies, aliens. Mm. I mean, I still remember the synopsis, the plot. I mean, it's a good movie. It's definitely stuck with me over the years, and I did like it. I would definitely say the, the lady playing the substitute teacher did a really good job. Doesn't exactly say who plays who. As, oh, it's a not rated movie, that's why. Actually, I, I would, oh wait, no, it is rated R. I was going to say, why does it say like not rated there? Ah, uh, the bonus stuff is not rated. This is weird, but whatever. So it is definitely a good movie. I just check it out if you can. And yeah, I don't know if old movies like this are on, like their platforms, others have like HBO Plus, Paramount Plus. Um, Netflix, definitely not on Netflix, I would have found it already. Um, don't know about Peacock or Tubi. Yeah, there's not that many. Um, I don't know where you'll be able to find it, but yeah, um, I don't think it's on Hulu either, so I'd say good luck trying to find some of these movies. Yeah, well, well and then again, it might be easy because a lot of these networks like to put like tons of old movies from like 90s, 80s, 2000s. They really have any like um, newer ones, but yeah. You can appreciate the older stuff in life.
the acting may not be that good because uh, yeah the kids they have never acted in their lives I think this is like the first time they are acting because it doesn't say they were in anything else so I mean maybe some of them grew up to be in other movies which I really hope so I hope they get more work in I'm hoping they had fun with the movie too. Alright, so hope everyone has a good day. Bye.